Hi, this is 3 SSH tips. In this video, I'm gonna give you three quick tips. The first one is called SSH agent. So what that is, is normally when you SSH in the machine, you use a command like this. SSH add, you specify the private key, you specify the user, and then you uh, specify the host, right? Uh, now, if you don't have your default key there and you don't specify your private key, you get a permission denied. So check this out. What SSH agent is, you could use this command SSH add to add that private key into memory. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Now you can list it so you can see what keys are in your memory right there. And now I'm gonna use the same command to hop in the machine without specifying the dash I flag. That's kind of neat. You can specify as many uh, key, private keys as you want. <clears throat> so we're gonna see now there's two private keys. And so what SSH is gonna do now is gonna consecutively try all those keys until it gets into the box. Now I won't recommend uh, trying more than three keys because sometimes the remote servers configure in such a way where if you have three failed consecutive attempts, uh, you're going to be blocked from that server. So um, yeah, so uh, I uh, would only use three keys. All right, uh, if you're using SSH agent, then another kind of cool thing that you could do is use this dash a capital A flag. And what that does is it forwards your, your keys and memory to that uh, server. So now you can actually use the same keys you have locally without having to copy those uh, keys onto that remote server. So I'm just actually hop back into the exact same server because those keys are now in memory, see? Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna hop out, hop out one more time, I'm back on my local machine now. I'm gonna show you the same command without the dash A flag. And check this out. Uh, dash L, there you go. Uh, now, oh, well, my agent is kind of messed up. Uh, to fix that, if you run to that, you can just kind of do this, evolve agent. Okay, and then now it has no identities. So if I try to hop back into that machine now, guess what? It does not work because I'm, my keys are not in memory. Okay, so then uh, now the next tip is uh, an SSH tunnel. So this is very useful for local development, especially if you're mobile. So let's say you're working on something uh, and you need to review it on an iPhone or a phone and you wanna refresh your changes immediately and you wanna see those changes reflected as you're saving uh, your files on, on a text editor on your, on your local machine here. Well, what you can do is you can actually create a tunnel so that as long as you have access to a server, you could create a tunnel so you expose uh, th that server port 9000 here to your local machine port 4000 here. So locally in my sh machine, I'm actually running uh, the blog. So here we go on the local machine, that's just me testing it. But see, I'm running the blog on local port um, 4000. And if now I grab the remote and type in 9000, I'm hitting the same blog because what's happening is this is SSH command here is for import 9000 on that remote machine back into my local machine. So now I can actually preview my changes on an iPhone. So that's very, very useful, I find. All right, the, the last one is escape from a dead connection. So sometimes, let's say you're SSH in the machine uh, and for some reason, let's say you have a flaky connection, the, the SSH sh session is hung and whatever you're typing into the session is just not working. So no, what I used to do was, I used to go up here and actually close my entire terminal and kind of lose my, my history. So uh, that wasn't ideal. Uh, and what you can do is actually you could type in tilde uh, period. And that's like the magic key sequence to escape out of that hung uh, SSA session without having to close up your entire terminal. And, uh, and that's it, those are three quick tips. Okay, hopefully you guys found that video helpful. If you guys found that helpful, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. If you guys have any questions or any other video suggestions, just feel free to comment below. And if you need any DevOps help, check out Bolt Ops. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.